Welcome, I'm Judy at Witch Peace Craft and today's video is about amigurumi, amigurumi wars and a big knitting project or major knitting project I have finished. They all link into one. So let's get started. There's a bit of a story. At Christmas 2021, Thing bought me a pattern he thought I might like to try. Um, he knew I was improving my amigurumi skills but this is a knitted pattern and I had been working on crochet patterns but it's more about what it is because he's a bit in the know about what I'm a fan of. So the pattern is The Honey Badger Stuffy by Miriam L. Felton. A paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's about $12 now Australian and about $8 US. Skill level, well I couldn't find a skill level on it. It was copyrighted in 2012 um, but as you will see as the video goes on, skill level is indeterminate. So the honey badger. When I got the pattern in about October 2022, I decided I'd give it a go. This was my fourth failed attempt. I found it when I had to do a bit of a craft room cleanup. It's still on a pair of knitting needles. Ta da! I attempted it four times. Now, it could have been the fact that I was experiencing brain fog because I'd had falls. It could be the fact that I used yarn that didn't really work. I used Spotlight Cocoon yarn, which I really like. But the pattern does call for Stylecraft DK. And I do have some DK now. When I check, they're very different yarns. So that could have been an issue. But every time I got the first bit finished, I didn't like it. And I haven't even frogged that yet. So I threw it aside and forgot about it. But in January this year, I um, decided I would make it again. So I am a big fan of Formula One Grand Prix racing and Australian driver Daniel Ricciardo. He's not racing this year. He's not in the, on the grid. He is making appearances for Red Bull Racing, but he's not actually driving in the races. But I'm still a fan. And his nickname is Honey Badger. So this year I decided I'd give it a go. But what could I do different? So I decided I would use a 4 weight, 10 ply Aran weight yarn and 4 millimeter knitting needles. And see if it was a heavier weight yarn it would work better for me. And it did work out a little better to some extent. But I still found this pattern really hard work. Testing my limits really to the extreme, to the point that my finished project will be making an appearance in my Yanni Corners Test My Limits Cal on Instagram. So do you want to see my finished object? I finished it on the 26th of April. And here he is. Dun -dun -dun -dun. My Honey Badger. Knitted Amigurumi. Would I do him again? I really don't know. So what is difficult about this? Well, Oh, he's got red eyes because you could either give him brown eyes or angry red eyes. And I certainly gave him angry red eyes. <laughs> what is difficult? You knit from here with the grey and you do this and it's all one piece. It's decreasing, increasing, decreasing, shaping, doing this. And you get that far. Then you flip him over and you use the black and you start here. Joining, going across, cross, cross, not around. No, cross, 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 all the way, increasing, decreasing, lining up, making sure all the way to the tip of his nose, one piece, all joined, and you're stuffing as you go. The legs, are they made individually? Well, not separately. You get four DPNs, you turn him over, and you pick up stitches and make a leg. There's actually... A shorts video I did of him looking like he's having surgery. I'll put it in the links be below. Every time I did a leg, it looked like I was performing surgery. I know when I finished the first one, I screamed and danced so much. Thing came running because he thought I'd won a big charity ticket lotto. No, I just finished a leg. And it did take me a few days. Like I'd do a leg, take a rest a day. Do a leg, take a rest. It was just so different and I don't know. My head just was having trouble. I finished on the 26th because I finally put his toenails and his eyes on. That's all that was sitting waiting for. He's not perfect. He does have a few blemishes, but he is my 
Honey Badger. He will be my entry in the April Amigurumi Wars with um, Jan, the Alaskan crafter. I've only made one other little thing, but I am really quite pleased and proud that I have finished my Honey Badger, which I started in January. Now, some of you might be saying, what's a Honey Badger? Well, on her pattern, she has Honey Badgers are amazing. They live mostly in Africa and the Indian subcontinent, eat poisonous snakes, bee larvae and honey. Their skin is so thick that the bites and stings really penetrate the honey badgers. Penetrate it. The honey badgers have been known to chase off young lions to take their kills. They are very persistent animals, which reminds me of the personality of Daniel Ricardo. So there'll be pictures of him at the end, my honey badger. Some real life ones so you can see. They don't really look like badgers, they look more like weasels. And I'll also try and find a YouTube link of Daniel Ricardo so you can check him out and know who I'm talking about. Because I have no doubt he will be making a very big appearance in the US. He will definitely be at the Austin race in Texas because he really loves Austin. I have no doubt he will be at the Las Vegas race because he's just crazy like that. And it, you will like him. It's not. It's very difficult for someone to dislike him. He has such a big smile. Reeves did suggest that for the blemishes, when I'm feeling up to it, I could do, stitch on like tattoos and cover the blemishes with tattoos because Daniel has a lot of tattoos and I do have a few. So maybe that might be an idea. But he is my honey badger and I think he's just amazing. I'm so proud of him. I'm proud of myself that I didn't give up and that I really pushed myself to the limit to make something, even though I threw in the towel last year. So guys, I hope you like this. I hope you join in Amigurumi Wars because May the 1st, I am hosting the month of May for Amigurumi Wars for our event organizer, Anita at y.o.h.crochet. Yes, she does have a YouTube channel. I will be hosting May for her. So if you're thinking of joining us, because you can still join in and have some fun, but make sure you go over to her channel. I'll put a link to the rules. There are a few rules, just so you know what how you benefit from joining Amagurumi Wars. But yes, here's my April entry. I do like him. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you come back on May the 1st and see my month's launch for Amigurumi Wars and take this opportunity to do an Amigurumi. Stay well, stay safe, bye for now. Hi, just had a quick thought and came back. I'm going to throw it out there. Does anyone know of a crochet pattern for a honey badger? A reasonable yarn. There was one, but the yarn was so discontinued and hard to match up. That I found but if you do know of a crocheted pattern or better still throw the challenge out there to someone to design a crochet pattern now Anita at y.ho.hcrochet is a pattern designer and I think this is right up your alley you could design a crocheted pattern for us there you go that was my afterthought thanks guys hope you enjoyed the video